Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see the difference between Git and GitHub. So first we have to know that both are different. Right? So Git is completely different from the GitHub. Now we will see what is the difference between both. So Git GitHub. So first, the Git, Git has been launched in 2005. So launched in 2005 and GitHub was launched in 2009 it seems, 9 or 8, okay. And then It was maintained by Linux environment. So Git is maintained by the Linux environment. So, so maintained or it is owned by Linux. And GitHub is maintained by maintained by Microsoft. And this git resides in our local system okay so it is a software and it resides in our local system so where it will be residing so it resides in local system that means our own system and this will be residing on web so it is called as a cloud based so it is a cloud based cloud based and it will be resides in web okay next so this git is mainly used for code sharing so the code will be created the source code will be created here so source code sharing and this source code will be created in our local system and here it will be having the centralized code sharing so which will be available as a public which can make it as a public right so centralized code sharing next this git is a version control system managed managing the source code history so whatever the changes we have done on our source code everything will be managed in this particular version control so this is a version control how the source code can be created in different versions so this is a version control system version control system managed code history all the code history okay and this one it manages the git repositories so wherever we are creating the code everything will be maintained here and the repositories will be maintained by the github so manages git repository so don't get uh, confused the repository means the place where we are placing the code source code files which we have been created so all those things will be maintained in this github that's a cloud based and this git comes with a command line so as it was maintained by the linux so the complete actions will be uh, performed with the help of commands so the main is a command line so git will also be comes in the graphical but it is mainly a command line tool and this one it comes with a graphical user interface so it will be having the interface it's a website so it will be having the user interface user interface similar to our website okay similar to our website so it, this is a software git is a software whereas this one is a service service github is a service so whatever the source code we are writing that will be available in the local systems 
and that are maintained in the repositories with the help of this git and making the complete source code centralized that means making them available to the public so so that any developer can uh, access our source codes and that will be maintained by the github and it is a cloud based that's why we are calling it as a cloud based so this is a web hosting right so here this is a software we are supposed to install the git already in our previous session we have seen how to install the git in windows operating system similarly if you if it is in linux operating system so installation of git will be with the help of command sudo apt get install git so this is the only command which is used to install the git in linux environment so open the terminal and give this command so that this git will be installed and coming to the github so that is a web host or a web space so simply we can access this way with www.github.com there we can store all the local repository files to the remote so this we usually call as a local and this we call it as a remote so the place we are uh, providing the complete source code in this local so this is called as a local repository and this is called as a remote repository so hope you understood the complete difference between the git and github so both are not equal both are completely different so one major difference it is a local it resides in the local system it resides in the remote server okay so hope you understood this one and uh, let us stop here in our next session we will see the basic git commands which are being used to configure the github right so let's stop here hope you enjoyed the session if you really like my session uh, like it share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much